Also on SmackDown, James Ellsworth. This was on Talking Smack, the talk show on the WWE Network directly after SmackDown every Tuesday night. Uh, James Ellsworth was actually presented the official contract for him to sign uh, by Daniel Bryan. Uh, with Renee Young looking on, James Ellsworth officially signed the contract and with that officially became a member, a uh, full-time member of the SmackDown roster. So now James Ellsworth will be coming to a town near you. It is official storyline-wise and official up in Stamford, Connecticut. So welcome to WWE full-time, James Ellsworth. Also, as seen this past week on SmackDown, the Dolph Ziggler Miz feud is still not over yet. Dolph Ziggler came out after the Miz had took on Kalisto for that IC belt, thanks to Baron Corbin interfering and taking out Kalisto. The Miz was celebrating up at the top of the ramp, and boom! Dolph Ziggler gave him, well, what I like to call still some sweet chin music. So obviously Dolph Ziggler is making an example out of the Miz and telling him, you ain't seen the last out of me, buddy. But I gotta admit, I'm not upset about this one bit. I think Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz, I can watch that every day of the week, twice on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to this feud continuing. Now, Scott Dawson, one half of the former NXT Tag Team Champions, The Revival, who just this past Saturday in Toronto lost those tag belts, he got into some hot water over Twitter recently, just last night, actually, during the SmackDown Tag Team Turmoil match to crown new number one contenders for Heath Slater and Rhino's tag belts, Scott Dawson tweeted out, We're the hottest act in tag wrestling. You think we're going to debut in a stupid multi-team gimmick match? Hashtag revival. Hashtag top guys. Hashtag GTTOAT. Greatest tag team of all time. Now, we're hearing this is not Triple H that found this originally and told him to take it down because Scott Dawson almost immediately took that tweet down, but it was actually not Triple H who made him do that as Triple H was unaware of this tweet at first anyway. It was actually his fellow peers in NXT, his fellow superstars down there, who saw this tweet, knew that Triple H and management would probably flip out, and actually told him that it would be best if he took it down. Not only did he take it down, but he also put up another tweet afterwards saying, Admittedly, my last tweet was stupid. I've worked with all those teams and have the utmost respect for them. Stupid tweet to try to rile fans. Scott Dawson also ended up taking that tweet down as well. So neither of those tweets are up, and you can sure as hell bet Triple H will be having a word with Scott Dawson today. Now, Punk is back in the news as well because we are anticipating Punk to any time before Christmas. So any time in December, really, before Christmas, we anticipate Punk is going to announce that not only is he returning to MMA, but that he's actually returning to the UFC. That's kind of shocking because if you remember, Punk, after he lost in devastating form to Mickey Gall at 203, after that event, it was Dana White who said, if Punk fights again, it probably should not be in the UFC. But then early last week, Punk admitted that him and Dana White have had plenty of talks since then. Now it is anticipated that Punk is going to announce his return to UFC. Sometime early 2017 is when he will actually be fighting. That's again what we anticipate. Now that could mean he could make it in time for 209. That would be in February 11th in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Brooklyn, New York, obviously CM Punk. Uh, has a lot of history for Brooklyn, New York. He could try to make it back for 209, but that's February 11th. That might be too soon. I'm thinking more realistically, March 4th for 210. That's in Las Vegas. But again, sometime in December, we anticipate before Christmas time, Punk is supposed to announce that he is returning to UFC to fight again. Best of luck to CM Punk. 